name is Rebecca, and today we're going to be making scented Play-Doh. For this recipe, you're going to need two cups of boiling water, one cup of salt, two cups of flour, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, four tablespoons of cream of tartar. This is optional, so if you don't have this in your pantry, don't worry about it, but if you want your Play-Doh to last a little while longer, it's a good idea to use this. And then for our scent and our color, we're using grape Kool-Aid, the unsweetened drink mix today. If you don't happen to have that in your pantry, then you can use the Kool-Aid, the sweetened kind already in the canister. Use two scoops of that. Uh, it will not make your Play-Doh smell as strong, but it will work for the color. All right, you're also going to need a bowl to mix it in and a sturdy utensil, spoon, or whatever for mixing. So we're going to start with our two cups of boiling water. Now, this is something that you're gonna have your littles watch you make, and then after the Play-Doh is mixed and has cooled, they can participate. So we're gonna start with our two cups of boiling water. And you just add that a little too much. Don't want our play to be too sticky. Put that in our bowl. And then put the salt in. And the oil. and the Kool-Aid. Just mix that up until it mostly dissolves. It won't completely dissolve, but oh, now I'm getting that really awesome grape smell. Mm. So, there are so many reasons to play with Play-Doh with your kiddos. One of those reasons is, kind of the main reason that I always think of is, Play-Doh helps to develop fine motor skills. Those skills are needed later for holding a pencil, holding a pen, holding a crayon, also for using scissors, because when you're using Play-Doh, you're strengthening your hands and your wrists and those little fingers get in there and grip. So Play-Doh is great for that. Scented Play-Doh is really neat because you can explore all of your senses. Well, except for taste. This Play-Doh wouldn't kill you if you ate it, but it's not recommended to eat. All right, so that's pretty well dissolved. Now we're going to add the flour a little at a time. And a little bit of cream of tartar and mix that in. Don't get tough to mix until almost everything is in there. This great Play-Doh is looking kind of blue. All right, some more flour. Oh, I almost put all of it in. Let's do all the rest of the cream of tartar. And I might as well put all the rest of the flour in. All right. And this is why you need the sturdy spoon. I tried to do this once with a plastic spoon and it kind of just snapped right off the handle. 
And in just a minute, we're gonna turn this out on the table and knead it. And my kiddos always wanted to get in on that process, but I was like, you have to wait till it cools a little bit more. You don't wanna burn yourself. They're sweet little tender fingers. All right, you can see it's coming up into a ball here. So I'm gonna get my hands in this. things aside. And I'll the sleeves. Another benefit of playing with Play-Doh is that it's very calming. You know, adults have all kinds of stress balls and things that we can use. Play-Doh is like that for children. It can release tension, improve focus. So if your child is feeling kind of stressed out or you observe that they're feeling a little bit anxious, just get out the Play-Doh. Because just this act of kneading the dough or squeezing it is very calming and relaxing. Okay, so I think this is cool enough by now that your children could actually help you knead it. What I like to do is I like to get different Play-Doh, uh, sorry, Kool-Aid packets. I like to make different colors of the rainbow. So cherry, orange, grape, maybe the lemonade for yellow. And then you can have them all out. They can mix colors. Uh, using Play-Doh increases literacy and numeracy skills. Just think about the vocabulary that can be used when talking about mixing colors, making all the different things that you make. It's so open-ended. Um, when you have something like this, the number of things that you can create are endless because you're making them from scratch. And it's a helpful way to get away from tech right now, get away from in front of the screen you can also add in lots of fun tools like a rolling pin, some cookie cutters. So that is a way to use some numeracy skills like, oh, let's make a cookie for every person in the family. How many are we gonna need? There you've got your counting, your one-to-one -one correspondence. Let's see, one for mom, one for brother, and then you can maybe talk about the first letter in someone's name. Brother's name is Adam, so let's give that cookie an A. Mom's first name is Becky, so let's give that cookie a B. Also, all these tools keep on increasing those fine motor skills. Another thing that you can do is, oh, I brought a muffin tin. This is another one-to-one -one correspondence. Oh, let's put a muffin in each muffin holder. You can also do this with um, like a smaller muffin tin too. This one was just easier for me to bring. Then we can make little cupcakes for birthdays. And if you don't have birthday candles, which I didn't have birthday candles around my house, so I just decided to use crayons. 
and there's a candle for each one. Uh, something else that's fun is, and this depends on the age of your kiddos too, you don't wanna have anything that might be a choking hazard, but hide something inside of a ball of Play-Doh and see if your kiddo can find it. And then they're using those pinching and squeezing. Oh, what did mom hide in there? She hit a rock. Or even more fun, a dinosaur. find the dinosaur or don't tell them what it is see if you can find whatever mom hid there are just endless endless things that you can do with play-doh then vocabulary talk about how it smells talk about how it feels talk about how it not how it tastes <laughs> how it sounds when you smack it down on the table so that is scented Play-Doh. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll show you the other one that I made using Tropical Punch Play-Doh, Tropical Punch Kool-Aid, excuse me. This is our Tropical Punch Play-Doh. So as you can see, lots of fun colors and smells to be had. Thanks so much for joining me today. See you later. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and follow us on social media. Daniel Boone Regional Library.